It looks like a missile silo. Maybe there's like a rocket that's gonna shoot right up out of this. Maybe that's on the agenda for the Pope visit tomorrow. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Still in Budapest? Yes. Hungary is quite famous for the thermal baths. They have them all over the city, and this morning we are going to try, I think, one of the more popular ones. It's definitely one of the biggest, so we're gonna go check it out. How do you pronounce the name of it? <laughs> yeah. The water in these thermal baths is obviously heated by geothermal energy. Are you a scientist? I am a scientist, that's correct. <laughs> it's my highly accurate research I've done for the vlog. We got private cabins and we're separated now, but I'm in my little dressing cabin area before we go out to the baths. It's a little locker room thing. Huh, whole lot of indoor pools. Well, I think this is like a thing that people come to maybe on a daily basis that live here. That's what the indoor pools look like, like maybe for ease your joints and stuff you buy like a year pass because it was um I feel that it was people who are a few years older than us sitting in there it's like people soup this outdoor pool's better i guess is it's, it warm please tell me that's warm it's got to be warm it's it's thermal because it's cold out here okay um, all right let's, let's go figure this out figure it out yeah here we go i don't want to talk about what we just paid for these towels too much Okay, this is good. I don't care that I'm in people's soup right now. Okay, this is oh, good. This, this is warmer is, than I thought it would be. This is like a bath. Okay. And we're we're also old and our joints hurt from walking all over these columns on the streets. We so walked a lot. Very nice. Okay, I'm, I'm sold. I was very skeptical. The building is huge and it's just like pool after pool after pool with like different temperature baths. And it did not seem appealing to me on any level. I agree. But this is good. Yeah, this is like perfect temperature. I'm it's actually glad it's not 80 degrees outside and it's time to come into this. In the summertime, this would be tough. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, this is great. I love it. Burning up now after being in those thermal baths. Pro tip don't forget to bring a towel. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay, what was it, 15? 17 euros yeah 17 euros per towel so we are bringing these lamb towels home with us we are investigating some sort of happening there's like stands and tents and we're in a park-like area we just saw it and we we're trying to see what it is we're gonna go see if they have chimney cakes and maybe a langos and more food <laughs> Oh my god. Wow, this all looks really good. There's so much food here. Okay, this is like the fair. This is like the county or the state fair. I, it just keeps going. We keep going around corners and there's more rides and more food. Balloons. Those are mylar balloons. Mylar balloons are okay. Oh, it's not. My, mylar balloons, when they pop, they just go. They bust a seam, that's all. Latex balloons. Bad. Bust in your face. No. <laughs> Beer out of a van. My mom always told me not to do stuff like this. That's probably the best beer I've had so far. I have no idea what it is. It's out of a VW van. Who knew? I'm for it. We need to try the langos. Langos is one of the yeah. very traditional Hungarian street food items that everybody has to try, including us. Nate has a conundrum though, because the way, the way to get it is with sour cream and cheese. And I don't like sour cream. I don't really like it either, but I don't think they put that much on there. It might be okay. I think we have to try it like they make it though. I think you're right. I gotta say, this smells really good. The, the sour cream thing throws me off. I, as a kid, I didn't like sour cream, and then I grew up and I loved things, and I'm like, yeah, there's sour cream in that. I'm like, 
Okay, maybe I'll have a turning point right now. Maybe you will. I like sour cream and baked goods because it makes it taste better. Brown onion dip with the Ruffles potato no. chip. No, no, no. Oh my God, it's so good. Not my scene. This is old as fuck. Is it hot? No. Yeah, they made these a while back. You could see them dipping them in the deep fryer and I was hoping we were getting a new one no. fresh out of the fryer. But we don't eat a lot of fried food. All right. Do you know what kind of cheese this is? Shredded. It smells like provolone, honestly. Or mozzarella. I mean, fried dough, good. Cheese, good. Sour cream. I think we might have to do this again later with one that's fresh because that's kind of... I mean, this is what, 20 minutes old probably? Yeah, but like when stuff is deep fried... I still don't like sour cream. I actually like it. I think it's good. You could get it with like chicken and bell peppers or beef or like an entire pork knuckle on top of it or a sausage on top of it. Do you can get sweet ones too. But we saw them somewhere else with like Nutella and marshmallows and sprinkles and stuff. Here at the Budapest County Fair. Is that what we're calling it? Uh -huh. <laughs> I like it. Good. Okay, so I have no idea what kind of sausage this is. I assume it's just like the Hungarian sausage paprika that we had at the Great Market Hall. A little bit of mustard, a little bit of ketchup. I am unsure what this bread is. It just looked really good and fluffy and fantastic as she was cooking it and she gave us like the one that just came off of the little griddle that she had in front of her, so I'm quite excited for that. It almost looks like a pita, but fluffier. The flavor is okay, like you can taste the paprika in it. it. It doesn't have the snap, like the one from the market hall. And it's like room temperature at best. That's a fail. I'm big on temperature, like especially if you're gonna have like street food out here, like it needs to be hot, you guys. Like throw it back on the grill for like 10 seconds, that's all it would have taken, cause this is it's like, it changes the flavor when it's room temperature, you know what I mean? I like things to be hot. It's warmer than I thought it was gonna be after hearing you. I like the flavor, I think it's good. I wish it snapped. I wish it was super hot, you're right. The bread is like a pancake. Not quite as sweet as a pancake, but definitely, it's like a griddle cake. A hősök telekövetkezik. Smells good. I told you, like this entire street. It's bigger than your head, yo. <laughs> oh, hey. I didn't see you there. So this oh, one dang. is chonky. It's nice out. It's still, the weather's good. It's very nice. Lots of uh, vloggers out and about doing their vlogging thing here in Budapest. <laughs> So what you do in this city. All right, we're headed over to St. Stephen's Basilica, which is like the big, really awesome church here in the center of Budapest, where the Pope's gonna be tomorrow. Yeah, he's doing a Sunday mass there, so. I don't know why he came all the way to Budapest to meet us. We would have gone to Italy to meet him. This church looks fake. It looks like a movie set from here. You can see the moon behind it, look at yeah, that. This is very picturesque right now. Very pretty. We're gonna try and go up to the top. Uh, the doors look closed, so I don't know if that's gonna bode well for us or not, but we are going to try because I don't think Nate has climbed up enough steps on this trip yet. Okay, one, two, three. She's the best person to ask to take photos because she like is a pro vlogger and all. Look at this. for the great meeting of Nate and Katrina and the Pope. The church is free all day Saturday, which is cool, um, but to go up top is about 10 bucks. Or if you're a student, a little less. That student life, saving us money. <laughs> Two dollars at a time. Hey man, you know. Wedding going on in here right now. 
someone very lucky. Wow. It's yeah. beautiful. I hope she says yes. Or I do. Or whatever. Yeah. Stairs. <laughs> it looks like a missile silo. Maybe there's like a rocket that's gonna shoot right up at us. Maybe that's on the agenda for the Pope visit tomorrow. Now I'm warm. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath, warm, all of it. It's stuffy. Are here. we at the top? Yeah, we're at the top. Oh, we're there. Yeah. Oh, I feel better then. I love the whole red roof thing that Europe has going for them. I just think it's a nice little touch. So, if you really know the deep inner workings of Nate and Katrina do the world, you'll know that this channel started out as a pinball channel back in the day. Today it's us, we still like pinball. We found the Flipper Museum here in Budapest. We're gonna go play some pinball. I can't believe you didn't know this was here. I knew it was here. Now I know it's here. Yeah. So this is one of the coolest collections of pinball machines, probably in the world at this point, I would say. I've been to a lot of places with a lot of games. This one is super, super broad in what they carry. There's some European games I've never seen before. Uh, there's some modern games, there's some bowler games, there's some really, really old vintage games. There's a little bit of everything. This is really a very good museum, if you will, of pinball, um, kind of from the beginning of it all the way till the modern stuff coming out right now. So very excited to be here. This is awesome. Good morning from the middle of the street in Budapest. <laughs> yeah, the street is kind of blocked today for... The Pope's here. As if we haven't mentioned that already. Yeah, there's literally 200 tour buses here? Just on this street. On this street. I think it wraps around on the other side. Pretty crazy. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of people here to see him. Uh, we've already had our secret meeting with him. We're good. We agreed and disagreed and came to some sort of consensus on things. I think I missed that meeting. Yeah, you were sleeping. It's all good. We also matched today for the Pope. I don't know. Yeah, I'm glad you got the memo on the chambray blue button down. I think that's like a sign you've been together too long. You start dressing like each other. turning into one person. All right, where are we going? We need to try some cakes. Cakes. There are some cakes that we're supposed to have here and we haven't done that yet. Cake for lunch. So we're gonna go do that. Cake for lunch. All right, we're in the Castle Hill area. We got away from the Pope, across the river back on the Buddha side, looking for one of the oldest bakeries in all of here. <laughs> so dramatic. That's what I do. <laughs> we are here in the shadow of the Matthias Church. It's beautiful. I love the tile work on the roof. The colors are fun. I like it. Is that Hungarian, do you think? I think that's like traditionally Hungarian. The tiles? Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, to me, it looks Swiss. It does look Swiss. It looks like a, something that you would see like in the hills of Switzerland. I like the colors. All right, let's get to the cake. This is the main event. Okay. Uh, the place is called Rusverm Confectionery. I'm sure it's right down here for you to read. I'm kind of regretting the fact that we didn't choose to sit at a table now, but it's okay. Okay, I'm going to start with this one, which is very Hungarian. So we figured out it's called the Dobos Tort. 
So it has, looks like a layer of sponge cake with some kind of chocolate ganache or something in between. And then it has this layer of caramel on top, which, yeah. This was the one that I was actually most excited to try when we got here. And this is the place to go for all of these pastries. Like, there was a guy in front of us, clearly Hungarian, picking up an entire cake for his wife and was like, this is the place to come, so. It's very um, moussey, like the chocolate is very light. And then you kind of can't even really taste the cake in between because the cake is very thin. The mousse is like taking it over. And then I got just a little bit of caramel on there. It's nice, surprisingly light for being a chocolate cake. That caramel has like a crunch on top, almost like a creme brulee that you have to kind of like break through. You're the chocolate guy, so you'll probably like this. It's okay to me, not my favorite, but hey, I tried it. All right, the second cake, and this is the one that the nice local gentleman was buying for his wife the Esther Hazy cake. I like the little design on the top, it's very nice. Also has little white nub and things on the back. I don't know what this flavor's gonna be, I have no idea. My favorite cake is carrot cake. I like Italian wedding cake, I like spice cake. This lives in that world of cakes, so I like it. It's sweet though, like really sweet aftertaste. Definitely a nut flavor to it, I like that. I probably like it better than the chocolate cake because it's more unique. I'd love to know the ingredients, really good. I like that a lot. Okay, let's be honest, this is the one that I really wanted to try. This is what I came to Budapest for, the cream cake. And I may have tried it a little bit already and I'm pretty sure it's fantastic. So it's got the light kind of puff pastry on the top and I think, and on the bottom, but it's very thin, so it's not too thick. So hopefully I'll be able to dive through it and won't have the cream go everywhere. Oh yeah, it's super light and fluffy, it's not like well, cream is still gonna go everywhere. Shit. This is like nearly impossible to eat something like this. Can you guys like figure out a different way to do this? Oh no. I don't know what to oh, do. No. I have, I don't know what to do. It's like chewy, so you can't with a wooden fork like go through it. Despite it being a damn mess, it is fantastic. The cream is light. It's great, I love it, it's my favorite. There's nothing left to say. Hey Katrina. Yeah? I think our time in Budapest is done. We saw a lot. We did a lot in only two and a half days? Two and a half days. Yeah. That, that's, that's our take on Budapest. First time, you like it? I do like it. Actually, I really love the city. I would absolutely come back. We will. We and, will be back. And do not touristy stuff. Yeah, we, we kind of hit the high points. It, you can't get it all done that quickly. No. We ate a lot. We walked a lot. Had some good food though. We did. Really good food. Food's really here. good. Yeah. yeah. If you like meat, this is your place. If you like tour groups, Oof. this also might be your place. <laughs> They're collapsing in on us. We need to go. Hey man, I think that's every major city though, honestly. This is Not true. just Budapest, but yeah. All right. Till next time. Until next time. Until next time.